Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the week of July 25th through the 31st. Can you believe it is the last week of July? I tell you, I cannot. I cannot. I just can't. This month has flown. It is. Oh, well. But it's here. And so, welcome. Welcome to your reading. Welcome to my channel, Forest for the Trees. I appreciate each and every one of you being here. If you're new, welcome. Welcome. If you're back. If you're. If you're coming back and this isn't your first time, welcome back. I appreciate you all um, trusting me and coming back and seeing what else we got to say for the month, right? Let me pick up all these cards I just dropped. Sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, let us see what we have going on. Anything you need, Virgo, is in the description below. If you... Uh, would like to know what decks I use, that's listed. If you would like a personal private reading with me, that's listed. Uh, my website's there. So please make use of that. And beautiful card. And um, mm -mm -mm. what else is there? My website, my email. Um, if you want to know more about astrology, astro.com. The link is there. Uh, date of birth, time of birth, place of birth. It'll give you your natal chart. It'll tell you your sun, moon, rising. It'll tell you a lot about yourself. It is free. Help yourself. All right. So we have the seven of water. We have choices. We have decisions. Seven is a um, number of decisions. And she's got a lot to choose from. There's all different fish and shells. Lots of choices to choose from. It's, it can be emotional. <clears throat> it can be confusing. She seems very wistful, though. She seems like she kind of knows what she... I almost feel like she knows what she wants to do. She knows where she wants to go, but she's seeing her other options. And whatever the choice is, it's going to lead to balance. It's going to lead to justice. It's going to lead to truth. Um, it could be something legal. There could be some choice um, legally that this person or that you have to make, Virgo, that will lead to, you know, truth and balance. Again, there's a, I don't know if it's the moon, but it looks like the full moon. And we just had a full moon um, on the 23rd. So the full moon energy to me is the three days before it and the three days after it. So the 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th would be full moon days. So there could be something very um, important that will happen during that time. And it's 11 is an angel number. So there's decisions, there's choices, there can be some confusion with these. But again, I feel like she's... I think she knows where she wants to go. She's just um, kind of seeing her options. Could be jobs. could be you know it could be relationships it could be very many options and relationships that you've got going on Virgo which is a possibility I mean you could have a lot of suitors and you could be like hmm, any many money mo right but you want somebody that's going to be fair and truthful and honest you're looking for that um, justice is also the card of Libra bringing in balance you want somebody that's going to bring balance into your life or help you maintain the balance. You don't want some chaotic energy is what I'm trying to get at. Not that you want somebody to complete you because I think those were the worst lines ever listed in a movie. <laughs> but that's just me. I love the movie, but uh, when he said that, I just cringed. All right. 
let us see what we've got. I pull a middle card. Movement, definitely. Yeah, the seven of water, I mean, there is movement in the water because the fish are swimming, so we have that. But we have movement. We have going forward, exploring. Look at that. It's a whole little city on that ostrich. Let's try to get this clear. You see that? And then look at this. Ah, oh, come on. Focus. Hang on. Ah, it's not going to let me. It is not going to let me. Too bad. It looks like a person's curled up right there. Moving forward. Isn't the ostrich like the fastest land animal or something? So this could be coming in fast. These decisions that you make can be coming in fast. It could be a whoosh, right? And again, leading, leading in the decision making is for your higher good. It could be a... Um, it could be a decision about moving. It could be a decision about moving forward in a career, or it could be a decision about moving, literally, um, moving house. Moving to another state, moving to another country. Eight and two equal 10, it's a completion of a cycle. You are in time you are in a time of positive forward motion. This is the time for positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. You're in a stage of a new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business. That could be all your thoughts. That could be all what you're thinking about. That could be all your choices. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to go forward. No matter what your inquiry, you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts and you know the actions you need to take. And justice is all about action, right? Wielding the sword of truth. This isn't the time for fear. Let it go and move forward. Beautiful. Make a decision to move forward. Move forward in your truth. Right? Move forward in your truth. Have that... You have that momentum this month. It could be the... Um, full moon energy still there that's giving you that momentum but you know be truthful to yourself you have choices you have a lot of choices and even though you might have your mind made up Virgo you know still look at your other options and I think that's what you're doing all right, we are going to pull a chakra card and see what chakra we need to work on this month or you need to work on this month. All right. Let's see what we've got going on. This is for Virgo for July 25th through the 31st. It is the seventh chakra, your crown chakra, and that's right above your head. It's right above your head, your crown. It's above your head. Meditation and silence. I sit still in meditation regularly and know there is power in silence. I seek out stillness during some part of every day. In the silence, I am open to receive without asking and without expectations. In the silence, I will hear and see the truth. Rest, tranquility, and peace are rejuvenating to my spirit. Miraculous emotional, mental, and physical healings are available when I'm open to receive. Beautiful. Beautiful. So be open. You know, be open. I think this seven of uh, water, this decisions, I think you've been sitting in meditation to think about where you want to go. You know, again, if it's a trip or if it's moving, if it's moving country, if it's moving state.
It could be moving forward in a relationship because you do have the water. You do have the emotions. A relationship card, you know. Could be with a Libra. There's just, there's, you know, just a lot of decisions you can be making about moving forward and where you want to go. But trusting in yourself and sitting in that stillness and knowing that you're divinely guided. Beautiful reading, Virgo. Please let me know how this resonates with you. I love the balance here. I love how you want to keep that balance. And the truth. All right. So, um, again, if you like the reading, Virgo, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please do so if you feel inclined. And um, hit the notification bell so you are notified um, of all the other readings I do. Weeklies, monthlies, singles, love readings, committed love readings for each signs. Um, and... I, I can't help, you know, with this hot air balloon. It's seeing things from a different perspective, too. It's like coming out of that box, you know. Coming out of that box and seeing things more clearly. All right. So, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful week. I would love to hear how this resonates with you, Virgo. I would love to hear... Uh, what you're moving to if you're just going on vacation if it's where you're you know you might go on vacation where where are your choices what are you going to do you know or if it's moving with somebody or moving um, in a different direction with your relationship you know seeking truth seeking justice seeking fairness are you moving somewhere that you will get a job in a legal department or on a legal team possibly that's a possibility too. Did you just pass the bar and you're seeing where to work? Awesome. Please let me know. Thank you all for watching so very much. Have a beautiful, blessed week. Virgo, I will see you next time. Bye for now.